So I want to give an update on my vertical takeoff and landing rocket here, it's sitting on the test stand here in the inside the vertical integration tower and uh, taking a closer look. See the main propulsion is a jet turbine here at the bottom and then it's got a vector control system. It's controlled there by servos. See that. And then surrounded by a yellow stabilization fin for again for high-speed vertical flight. And then moving up are the electric fans that are used for uh, takeoff and landing to help uh, augment the thrust of the jet turbine. And they rotate in to minimize drag during high-speed vertical flight. Then they rotate out for takeoff and landing, and they do. They also have thrust vectoring units. See that? Right now they work collectively. Eventually they'll all be independent. And then after it, it takes off, these tuck in out of the way. And they also provide uh, like uh, air ducts to provide air for the jet turbine at high speed flight. Then coming up here we have the battery packs, a lot of LiPo batteries there, about 300 amps. And then inside there is uh, the fuel tank. This is A1 jet fuel, you can see it in there. Yep. Then moving up higher to the electronics. Uh, right now I'm controlling it by uh, remote control, but eventually it'll be controlled by this uh, onboard computer autonomously. And then you can see up above there, right there, is a uh, CO2 cartridge that kicks out the parachute. Then moving up higher, this is the parachute chamber here. And then the second stage sits on top. And it too has a parachute, it comes down. So as it goes up, the second stage launches. And then the parachutes are ejected. They're stored in there. The drogue chute would come out first, the smaller chute. And that's hopefully all we need, and that keeps it vertical during landing. But if there's an emergency, the main chute will come out also. And then it'll come back down and land vertically. That's it.